I have three sons and my second son had a very severe allergic reaction when he was just six months old. Yeah, at that moment, uh, quite, quite a big impact uh, on my life. He was becoming allergic as well for, uh, for almost all allergens, uh, so for uh, peanuts, uh, cashew, hazelnut, walnut. We started to actually give those allergens because, yeah, you need to, to give a certain dosage and you need to increase that, um, and then you need to maintain that for a period of time. But, yeah, there is no uh, ready, easy, uh, ready-to-use product that you, that you can actually use. Well, I think Laurier's personal struggle also affected me because I was one of her friends. I think the main goal is actually to, to see Laurie's struggle and see that other parents also go through this struggle. And we thought, okay, if it's not easy, then we should help other parents. Uh, because this is something which can be prevented in 80% of the times. So why wouldn't we uh, go for it and at least try to uh, change the world a bit? Hey, hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Is this even is an impact company. Our goal is really to prevent food allergies, and we offer easy, healthy, and safe way for parents to do that. They did great international studies, which showed that if you give allergens early and often, you are able to prevent 80% of the food allergies. You need to, to give a certain dosage, uh, meaning that you have to either do it in the hospital, so there, you know, you, they, they measure it for you, or you have to do it yourself at home. Uh, and especially the maintaining part, you have to do it yourself at home because you're not going to the hospital every week uh, with your child to, to give him a cashew and, and a hazelnut. Um, and then it's very difficult because how do you know the dosage is right? How do you know the product is right? Uh, uh, it's, it, it, is, it is really um, yeah, very troubling for a young parent um, if you already have to do so many other things to also do this and, and, and add this to your daily routine. Josine and I, uh, we know each other for more than 20 years. We, it was nice that we could uh, start this journey together. I saw big corporates avoiding those allergens in their baby foods because it is something which can also be a risk if you don't give it the doses in the right way. The journey began uh, sitting together and thinking about, OK, we need to, first of all, prevent this from happening to other parents uh, and also make it very easy and healthy. If your baby has eczema or there is a food allergy within your baby or in the family, we advise you to start with uh, my first peanut in six steps. And you start with step number one, which has a blue capsule. You open the capsule, you add it towards your baby foods. It can be fruits, vegetables, you stir it. And then you simply feed it towards your baby. <laughs> Mom and dads, hospitals, and even uh, some dietitians are, and pharmacists are selling our products to make sure that it is at the place where it should be uh, at the time that parents should start giving those um, allergens. We have pediatricians, dietitians, food technologies, all these people in our extended team, which help us asking all the questions we have in developing our products. My name is Harry Wiggers. I uh, work for Wageningen University and Research, and in particular for the food and bio-based research department. Allergies are more prevalent amongst uh, children. There's a reason for that. And an important uh, reason is that, that the uh, immune system of newborns is still what we call naive. It still has to learn a lot of uh, lessons in real life. And for a long time it was thought that uh, if people had an increased chance to develop allergic reactions, it would be wise to keep them away from peanuts or milk or those notorious allergens that are responsible for many allergic reactions in uh, children. That was the standard of care for a long time. About the uh, 
decade ago, a study was done in the United uh, Kingdom, which completely turned things upside down. So exposing children at very young age to a suspect thing, peanut in this case, led to a six times lower chance of uh, developing an allergic reaction to peanut. Um, we collaborate with Vinnie Mini uh, by some kind of on-demand interactions that we have to with, with, with them. For instance, we describe from a chemical of perspective what the characteristics of their products are. We uh, analyze their products, we, uh, we describe what happens if it's being heated or uh, processed. We would like to do as much as possible business with serious uh, com companies who know what they were doing and try to embed their activities in real uh, science. The people that have an allergy themselves, they understand it. Uh, but if you if you never experienced it, you think, no, it's, it's not me, my kid will not have it. I also never thought my kid would have a food allergy. So that's, that, that, that is a challenge in a way to, yeah. uh, to make sure that, that all parents are doing this and really, you know, making sure they do it in the, in, uh, in the right way. Thanks to giving him frequent, a measured way, those allergens. My son is free of allergies. We started with a peanut product to prevent a peanut allergy, but we also want to extend with other allergens, like nuts, to prevent a nut allergy. Um, and we're taking it step by step, uh, but in the end it should be uh, a world without food allergies.